Hello, I'm Dominique Salvish. I'm from Mozambique. Hi, I'm Sabine Cruz. I'm an economist. My name is Peter Bruce. I'm a professor at Oxford, and I'm also the physical secretary of the Royal Society. Climate change is caused by the emissions of carbon dioxide that we put in the atmosphere from our activity. Uh, but every year, more than half of those emissions are absorbed by the land and ocean reservoirs. And the big question is how much the land and ocean reservoirs are going to continue to absorb in the future. We know that forests sequester a lot of the anthropogenic carbon that we generate from fossil fuels. But in fact, it's been estimated that only 2% of our total climate finance goes to forests. And of that, only a tiny percentage goes to indigenous populations who are on the front lines of protecting and defending their lands. As human populations grow in and outside protected areas, elephant habitats are being reduced. And as elephants and people get closer, this brings even bigger problems. The solution, quite simple, is girls' education. Why? Because the survival and conservation of elephants and all wildlife really depends on the people who live next door to them. There are a number of ways uh, with which to extract CO2 from the uh, atmosphere. Um, could be planting additional trees, could be sucking CO2 directly from the air, but none of these really is a silver bullet and they all come with their respective opportunities and trade-offs. Batteries have a vital role to play in reducing carbon emissions and tackling global warming. We need them to power electric vehicles, to decarbonize our electricity grid and to power light aircraft and drones. Well, the lithium battery that does all these things is extremely good, it needs to be much better. We need to change our lifestyle and industry, everything. So it's not so easy. Climate change is a big issue, but we have all we need to respond to it. And just like I'm about to run out of time, these indigenous communities have been running out of time as well. By empowering young girls and women, it helps create this virtual cycle where local people and young women have become the stewardship or the voice that helps protect this biodiversity we all depend on.